What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we are going to be talking about the new Spotlight SIM cards and also what the easiest way to get all of these cards is. So, right now, um, these cards are all out and I actually have not done any chance. I'll probably, I've been literally have not stopped making videos since the second these were announced, since basically since I woke up today. I've actually got all my like tomorrow videos recorded today anyway, I guess because I recorded all them before these cards came out. I've been up since, it's like 6 p.m. and I've been up since eight o'clock in the morning making videos. But um, yeah, so these challenges right here. Honestly, I think probably Shrimp might be the first one I'll go for. Yeah, I might go for Shrimp first, but I'm just gonna show you guys how, how to do this. And also if you wanna do it with a really cheap squad because you don't need the most expensive squad in the world, but you do need a playbook. So let's just put in a lineup and let's call it Sims. So most, I know for a fact, a lot of you guys have already seen almost this exact same tip video because let's be real, I've made this tip video multiple times and it's very, very similar thing. So like the coach, again, the better the coach, the better um, it is. Like obviously just use whoever your best coach is. For me, it's Terry Stotts in terms of offense. But basically the players that you want in this is for centers, especially if you're start, starting out the game, you literally, you need Sean Bradley. Like Sean Bradley works fine. Just be on the bench just to save money emptying contracts. Like, you can use a bench. You don't need to use a bench, trust me. Like, it literally does not make a difference. Um, in terms of your guards, you need one player. For me, anyway, I need one player that can hit shots on the move. That's kind of like the big thing for me. Someone being able to hit shots on the move. Because there are kind of two tactics you can go about doing these challenges to really easily beat them. And one of them involves a bunch of moving threes. So... You kind of need some with half range extender and half quick draw. So let me just throw in like Harden works, Curry works, Bingo doesn't work because I don't think he's got half quick draw or a half range. Um, I'll put him. I'm up just putting West. Actually, no, West falls too difficult to get, attain. Even two guard that does that work. So let's just put in Wade, who's like 4k MT. I'm trying to make a squad where if you have no real, not much MT, that works perfectly. And then I'm gonna put in Daquan Cook. Because Daquan Cook is, like, while well, I wouldn't use Wade as my main offensive player, Daquan Cook's like 3k MT. So these two guys right here at 6k MT plus three tokens, you already have your bronze players. Hampton, get out of there. Hampton would be ideal, but um, not for this specific squad. And then you literally, the only players you're going to be scoring with are your point guard and your two guard. So you literally, you just need guys with clamps. So honestly, Iguodala works perfectly fine. Power four position. I normally, like, I just use Yanis because I put a diamond contract on him. If you happen to have a diamond contract, now you want to use them, but let me see if I can get some even really cheap power forwards. Green. Jeff Green works perfectly fine. I think he's like 1,000 MT. Like this squad will win you the games as long as you have this sorted. So your playbook. Your playbook. Make sure you don't just buy the playbook. Some people buy the playbook and don't equip it. Make sure you've equipped the Brooklyn Nets playbook. So a squad like this will work perfectly. And there are two, without question, two tactics you can use to win these games. So this will win... Trust me, this will win you games on Hall of Fame. This will win you Hall of Fame or games on uh, Rookie. It will win you games and everything. It will win you games no matter what. And let's have a look at these challenges. Let's just play one for Shrimp. It really doesn't matter to the team. One problem is I think with these all-time teams, you're not as much playing against... I'm not sure if all these are all-star. Oh, so these are, they're not. It goes to Hall of Fame. Trust me, this works against Hall of Fame as well. Um, the Brooklyn Nets playbook is more important against Hall of Fame. That's all I'm going to say. Because you can get you can get away much easier with doing um, my t my number two tactic against the CPU on All Star. Like the second tactic will work very very well against All Star. However, against Hall of Fame, you really should use the Brooklyn Nets playbook. And I'll explain why. And again, Sean Bradley is in there, just pretty much for defense. So now we're gonna get on to tactics. What you're gonna want to do. Defensive settings, honestly, I just leave them. I just leave them against CPU. I don't think it makes a difference. Offensive settings. Go to your, not freelance. Actually, does freelance matter? Freelance doesn't matter. Freelance doesn't matter. So in this one right here, I would ta always take away quick isolation. Take away quick isolation. Scroll all the way down to quick true SDS and then equip it. Because if you don't equip quick true SDS, you're not going to be able to run it. This is the easiest play in the game because the defensive AI is so bad that they just can't stop it. One other thing. Make sure everything is manual and adaptive coaching engine is off. Nor it automatically turns to on when you're um, 
it's automatically starting offense on defense. So make sure you turn it off. Actually, no, sorry. Why is it? Okay, and also don't play any help defense, trust me. It's like, why is it saying that normally it just automatically changes? And then options. This is a huge one. Turn your shot meter on. I'm telling you this right now. Turn, Make sure, even if you have your shot meter off when you're playing offline or playing online, turn your shot meter back on when you're playing online. Because there's a specific shot that is so much easier to hit with the meter on than meter off. Okay, so I'm probably not going to play this entire thing. But let's start off this game. And I'm going to show you guys just a couple of possessions which you're they're going to get you easy scores and you're going to get easy stops. One thing is that the CPU tends to fade in the third quarter. So that's normally when you're getting your best out of them. But and also the centers very, very, very leave paint. So what I do is literally I'll sit inside and that's a good cut right there. That's a score. Okay, so tactic, the tactic that will work very well in All-Star is literally just pass to Daquan Cook, Wade's tray on the play, not working, call for screen. Literally, just call for screen. Spam crossovers until they eventually get stuck in. They will get stuck in eventually, and nothing happened there. We got a wide open Iguodala, who knocks down to three. Trust me, like, the defensive AI is so bad that if you just start spamming crossovers, good things will happen. Oh, but always off-ball, lads, trust me. Always off-ball. They're not, like, Cat will hit that shot occasionally. He's not going to hit that shot at a high enough rate that it'll beat you. Um. Okay, let's, let's run around. They have not left weight open. Okay, so we've got nothing here. We've got nothing on. So, quick true STS. Okay, get the ball to Wade. And look, let's watch this, watch this, watch this. Pass the ball to Cook. And Wade is wide open because the defensive AI is so dumb. The defensive AI cannot stop that play. So, both times we have not managed to trigger our... Um, we've not managed to trigger our trail cheese, which is what I think is the most effective way of playing this game. Um, if you don't want to just run quick through STS, it's less mind-numbingly boring if you can time your releases. And that's a shot that goes in one of every four times. But what Trail Cheese is is this. So just watch the way the defense plays on Daquan Cook. Wide open. Green. Like you're going to be open with that shot every single time. Because for some reason, the computer defense, as you can see with like even Jeff Green right here. Jeff Green's standing at the free throw line. So if a user went and passed the ball to Kevin Garnett, they would have had a wide, like they would have had a really, really easy um three point shot on the trail however our defense has just been horrendous because i'm not really locking in but trust me you're gonna outscore them like if you get even one stop in every four possessions if you know what you're doing you're gonna win the game because again you've got tactic number one which is the easiest way trust me when you're playing hall of fame is when you really need this quick true sds tactic cut give the ball to wade and it's a wide open layup wide open dunk and you can do this with anyone. Like, if you have, for example, a Yanis diamond or above. Like, if you can even manage to get pay 10k for a diamond Yanis, diamond Yanis is just unguardable as the uh, rim runner in Creature SDS. That's bad defense. And just like that, we got to stop. As we run the fast break, we threw to a terrible option there. But just watch this. They've just completely left our shooter green. The CPU defense is so dumb. They are so dumb. Like... As long as you always just keep a look at the top of the three-point line, there is normally always someone wide open there because of where the CPU is. All right, we're just going to go for one more trail cheese basket. I really don't care if they score or not here. But like, just watch. Like, that's not a good shot. They will take dumb shots. Okay, let's see what Wade... Look, they're not guarding Wade right here. They're not guarding Wade at all. Moving green. Like, obviously, that, like, that shot is a lot... I'm going to tell you this right now. That tra shot is a lot harder to hit. That is a lot harder to hit when you're playing on... Hall of Fame. It's, I think that that tactic works really well in Superstar. But when you're playing in Hall of Fame, I would definitely advise you to go to Quick True SDS. So that is how important that Brooklyn Nets playbook is. And right now, I think everyone has a playbook. So I don't think there's really going to be too much of a, like, rush to get the playbook. Yeah, it's going to be like 5 to 6 KMT, but like, that's worth any, it's worth it over any player. And trust me, that playbook is worth it over any player. So Bronze, Nets, card type playbook like he's it's obviously it's being price fixed but you can probably get it for four or five km too realistically it is kind of a little bit annoying and even if you want to wait a couple of days for this yeah it's being price fixed right now which is a little bit unfortunate but as you guys can see there's like five of these finishing in the one minute like these are going to go for four or five k or less even at 10 kmt it's still not a bad investment so anyway yeah that is pretty much it this is the tips 
basically it's been the same tip since the original spotlight sims but obviously there are a whole lot of new people coming into this game today there's a whole lot of people that have the game today that wouldn't have had the game previous days because the game's free so i felt like it was important to make this video or basically make the exact same video as i did last time again so yeah even with a squad like this i'm confident i could easily beat every single one of these challenges and that is it so anyway that's the video thank you guys for watching please like comment Tasting with the fade, not the air, my hands rocking. When I link with ball point, you know.